motion picture you are about to see contains actual early film In order to create a more perfect picture of Bruce Lee, the legend, you will also see those who sought to imitate him, such as Bruce Lai and the latest sensation, Dragon Lee. Much time and care has been taken to compile this film in order to secure its authenticity. In the first 30 minutes, you will see Bruce Lee as a young man in four films that complete his film career. After that, there will be an hour and a half of continuous action. The real Bruce Lee is dedicated to you, the fans, and to his memory. May it live forever. Bruce Lee was born November 27, 1940, in San Francisco's Chinese hospital. He was brought up in Hong Kong during the Japanese occupation. Bruce Lee began his film career at the ripe old age of six. His father, Li Hoi Chun, a famous Cantonese stage and screen star, brought Tiny Bruce onto a shooting set one day, and the next, a new star was born. In 1947, Kid Chung was produced, one of the very first films starring Bruce Lee or, as he was known then, The Little Dragon. Someday, Kung Fu will be used all over the world. But I, I will continue to use my knife. You know why? Because it's my trademark. I am Lee, the flying knife. Impressive, my friend. Yeah. Hey, kid. Bring it here. Right. <laughs> Where's the noodles? We want to eat. Mm. Here you are, sir. Uh, you like that, Shen, huh? Uh-huh. I sure wish I could throw a knife like that. What's your name, kid? Kid Chung. Uh, want something to eat? Uh-uh. Man, Chung. Ooh, he's the boss of a big gang. The man with the cane is Bruce Lee's real father. This is the only film where they appeared together. Go back and read. Can't you see I'm busy? Go on, go on, go on, go on. <laughs> Sir, it's time for your medicine. Mm, yes. <laughs> There's our opportunity to make some money. I'd rather read your book. Here. Come, Mimi. We're going now. Put the book away. Come along, dear. Put a book in my nose. Hey, don't worry. Don't worry. Calm down. 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 He hurt me. It's gone. Papa, have you got my gold chain? Your gold chain? I thought you had it. Let me see. It's gone. Gone? What's gone, sir? It's gone. My, wa my wallet's gone. It's gone? Are you yes. sure? Oh, of course I'm uh, sure, you idiot. Who's an idiot? You two are idiots. That's who. Yes, I had sir. over $10,000 in my wallet. Over oh, 10 thou, pack up the books, children. We're going home. Oh, please. Uh, when you want them, they're never around. I don't.
Yeah, it's me, kid. Just be cool and you won't get hurt, huh? You make any noise, then I'll kill you that quick. Wait, you can't go out now. There's police all around. This is the police. Who's the landlord here? Look, kid. You want to help me, don't you? Yeah. Who lives in that apartment? George Lehoney. And his three kids. You may go upstairs and look if you like. Oh, are they home now? Georgie isn't. I know that. You might find the kids in. Help! Please! Police! Help! Where is he? Well, talk! Yes, ma'am. There was a man hiding in the Yeah, store. where was he? He was right up there. When I came in, he saw me and jumped right over that ledge. Down the little devil. Sending the police on a wild goose chase, always horsing around, aren't you? <laughs> you get yours. You want anything? I want nothing. Listen, kid. You ever want anything? You go to number four, Tailing Road. And you ask for Lee the Flying Knife. That's me. Oh, I know who you are. I saw you throw a knife. Mm. Come on. child, Bruce Lee was no stranger to the martial arts, making it easy for him to portray the bad boy on the screen. Here, give me that. You looking for a black eye? Yeah? I'd like to see you try it. Come on, Phil. I told you I'll catch you later. You owe me some money and I want it. And I want my hat. I'll give you your hat right after you pay me. <coughs> Nobody roaches on me. Huh. Next time I see you, you better have it. I'm a cowboy. Come on, Kong. You better not mess with me. Ha. <laughs> 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 hey, watch where you're blowing smoke, huh? Hey, you. Go away. I don't want any trouble here. I can feel it coming out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no! <laughs> wow, I steered you out of your wits in it. It was great the way you jumped. <laughs> Wise guy, huh? You're really asking for it, aren't you? Okay, tough guy. Who do you think you are? A magical monkey? If you are, I'm King Kong. You look like him, too. Don't get smart with me. No, no, stop it. All of you. What do you think this is? If you yeah. kids are going to fight, go somewhere else. Yeah. Come on, if you're not chicken. We'll show you who's chicken. Let's get him. You better go back while you can. There you go. Come on. Right. That's it. Keep coming. Don't let him get away. Come on. Oh, 
teach you a lesson. You boys are silly messing with me. Anytime you want to try again, let me know. His screen career became more serious. And he appeared in several dramas and Chinese tearjerkers, such as we see him here in the film Carnival. I'm so hungry, I could eat my shoes. It's my own fault. My children need a home. Don't worry, Papa. Something is bound to happen soon. All we need is work, that's all. You're right. Tomorrow we'll do something we've never done before. We'll put on a show for everyone. Your brother can do his routine. The one where he does each character. Are you ready? I sure am. Your attention. He wants your attention. You're about to see a show you've never seen before. And you may never see again. The most unique two-man act in the world. In the world. Yeah, he's not bad, is he? You interrupted me. <laughs> that gong. What about my gong? You keep ringing it and they can't hear me talk. My gong? Well, I don't care if it's your gong or not. It's a nice gong, too. Can we uh, get back to the show? Oh, can we? On with the show. This afternoon, we'll show you... A good example in theater acting. And creative music, of course. Ba, 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 ba. Written and directed by myself. You? I stayed up all night writing this. Uh, sound the gong. Now, a small demonstration in the martial arts. Kung Fu. The kid's not bad, huh? It's only the beginning. True, true, go on. All anyone needs is practice. That's right. Good old practice. Go on. Step right up, folks, and watch a master at work. Thank you, my boy. Now, watch closely. I'm only going to show you this once. Watch the man closely now. You can practice this later at home. In any room. Hop on your right, slide with your left. Position your right arm and your left arm. See how easy it is, folks? I suggest you practice at an hour a day. In any room. Now, nothing in my right hand. His right hand's empty. And nothing in my left, right? You're confusing me now. <laughs> Watch this closely, folks. Don't miss this. Are you ready? Ready. The gong. Here we are. <laughs> hey, hey, they're so bad, Clarence, but they're good. <laughs> this is a new old Chinese long saber. Chinese long saber. And is to be used in extreme emergency. To be used with care. And to use correctly, you must be aware of its balance point. A point well made, sir. So you must have courage. <laughs> Your gong is too loud. My girlfriend never gives me trouble like you. She likes my gong. <laughs> so what am I going to do my skit? You'll get your chance right after I finish my own small bit. Right you are, sir, and away we go. Go on. Now, what was I saying before, hmm? How do you use that thing you have in your hand? Oh, yes, it's very important that you always use plenty of room. You betcha. The diagonal slash is best for course work. It goes like so. Careful now where you're pointing that thing. <laughs> Those interested in lessons, please let me know right after the show. And the price to be discussed later. Is it my turn now? First, let me mention, at the end, there's a collection. That's right! <laughs> no donations are refused. Just put it right there in my gun. Yes, give what you can. Yeah, man, I'm hungry. Hey, I was still talking. Well, when am I going to get to do my routine? Are you ready? Am I? Watch, I'm going to act out one, two, three different characters. Yeah? Just count them. Father, brother, sister, grandfather, that makes three without father, which I'm not going to do today. All at the same time? Nope. I just do one at a time. You're on. The story of the pearl necklace. <laughs> that kid's gonna be a star. The last film Bruce Lee made before heading toward America was called Orphan Sam. Time passes on. Got some wood, Uncle. Good boy, Sammy. Are you hungry, huh? <laughs> How about a cookie? Could you go for a nice, fresh Chinese cookie? Sounds good. 
Huh? Okay. Hey there, George. Sammy wants one of those Chinese cookies. The ones I baked fresh? Uh -huh. Okay, be right there. <laughs> Uncle, huh? I saw an eagle today. I tried to catch it, but it got away from me. Oh, you must be careful. Why? Ah, the claws of an eagle are very dangerous. He doesn't frighten me. I'm strong. See? Huh? <laughs> I might. I'll fix that eagle. Here's your cookie. It's fresh. Go ahead, oh. Sammy. What I owe you? Oh, nothing. Huh? Consider it a little treat. <laughs> He's grown into quite a young man, hasn't he? You remember when we first saw him? He was small, wasn't he? Oh, I'll never forget that first night. You were crying so loud that the farmers could hear you next valley. Now take a look at you. <laughs> Uncle, you take it. Uh-uh. You eat it. I'll eat something later. No, you eat it. I'm not hungry. No, don't worry. I'll eat something He's later. He's escaped! Huh? Son's escaped! Huh? Oh, 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 Simon's son! You, you better lock the door. Huh? You mean he's escaped? Yes, sir. He escaped this morning. The people are afraid to go out. Well, tell them it's all right to go out. Now go on. I have things to do. Ago, but they were heading in the other direction. Yeah. Well, you and I, kid, are heading in that direction. Get it? <clears throat> Chain's heavy. Let me lean on you, kid. All there is is a little temple up that way. That's all. There aren't any houses if that's what you're looking for. Anybody live in that place? No. Nobody. Come on. Take me up there. Don't just stand around. Help me to get this chain off my leg. Yes, sir. I brought a hammer and a chisel. You did well. Here. Please? Sure you can go. I'm leaving too. <laughs> It'll be right out. 
What's that now? This gentleman wants to talk to you. Yes, sir. What can I do for you? Are you Mr. David Lamb? Yeah. You've been willed a large sum of money. Huh? But are you sure there isn't a mistake? You better check on it. One million Hong Kong dollars. Mr. David Lamb. One million dollars? Uh-huh. According to the will, the bulk of it will go toward the schooling of your nephew, Sammy. You hear that, Sammy? You get to go to real school. Oh, when am I going? Now listen closely, Sammy. About that money, I have a good idea who it's from. And I think you do, too. He was a great man. Now, remember that. You study hard, and someday you'll be a great man, too. It's here! It's so great. <laughs> And shortly after the successful Hong Kong opening of this film, the real Bruce Lee packed his bags and with $100 in his pocket, booked passage on a cheap freighter and departed for San Francisco. Six years later, in Seattle, Washington, shortly after his marriage, Bruce Lee opened his first Kung Fu school, a modest operation conducted in a basement. His fee for a month's instruction was $15. He called it Bruce Lee's Kung Fu Institute. After a short stay in San Francisco, he left to study philosophy at the university in Seattle. Before graduation, he moved to Los Angeles, where he got his first acting job as Cato in the TV series The Green Hornet. Discouraged with his small film roles, he returned to Hong Kong, where he starred in his first kung fu picture, Fist of Fury. When the film hit the movie screen, he became an overnight sensation. Bruce Lee electrified audiences around the world like no other did before. The Chinese Connection, his second film, confirmed his starhood status convincingly. Bruce Lee wrote and directed his third film, Return of the Dragon. Intended for the Chinese market, surprisingly, it thrilled people everywhere. His incredible success shocked Hollywood, causing Warner Brothers to produce Enter the Dragon. Each of his films was more successful than the previous, and his latest was the biggest of all. Now established as one of the top box office attractions in the world, he returned to Hong Kong to star in a film he wrote called The Game of Death. Bruce Lee never completed the film. He died during filming at the young age of 32. Bruce Lee died July 20th, 1973, in Hong Kong's Queen Elizabeth Hospital. Bruce Lee, a legend in his own time. His passing was felt by countless people the world over. Never before in history had so many friends and fans alike paid tribute to one man. deceased's wife, the coffin containing the body of Bruce Lee, was flown from China to Seattle, where he had so many friends, and where he now lies at rest. After his death, the world mourned the loss of their most popular hero. 
moviegoers missed their beloved idol, and since no one could replace him, many rushed to imitate him. As we all know, an impossible task to accomplish because there is only one Bruce Lee. However, it is said that imitation is the highest form of flattery and the greatest compliment to give. Bruce Lai is the best known double for Bruce Lee and is an accomplished martial artist in his own right. We felt that you should take a good look at his abilities and compare for yourself. Lee had given his character a human identity. In the West, his portrayal might appear clumsy, even high camp. But to the Chinese audience, it was an innovation. They were seeing real live people rather than stuffed punchy bags.
Now that you have seen some of the Bruce Lee look-alikes, we feel that the latest is by far the greatest. Seraphim Karalexis, the producer of this film, believes he has discovered the ultimate replacement. From deep in the heart of the Orient, introducing the new sensational fighter, Dragon Lee. The rest will be history. You still working? Yes, master. Still calling me master? Call me father. Uh, I, uh... All right now. Don't work too late. Or you'll keep you in waiting. Better be getting on home. That's enough for one day. Okay. I've finished. I'm going now. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Just hand over everything that you've got, and then we can let you go. Thank God. 
It's terrible. What's happened? Tell me. It's Brother Tong. He's being murdered. Huh? Murdered by Yashika. Yashika killed him. Now he's full of stupid. schools. Is that right? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> the door. <laughs> <laughs> We all owe you a great deal. And soon you'll be rewarded. Thank you, Master. You exaggerate. Oh, no. <laughs> now, listen. I want to know how the Ching Wu react. My lord. Don't worry. I can find out. <laughs> you play spies every way you can think of. Sir, right, sir. The Ching Wu school here has many students. And they won't take this lying down. Be on your guard. Tonight. What? Datong killed by Yashka? Right. They came and told me. It's my fault. I let him go. I was wrong to do it. I beg you. Allow me to leave here. This Yashika has got to be stopped for the spirit of the Qingwu school and to avenge Datong. And I've got to do it. Master, please let me. Please, please Master. Since you are determined, please allow me one word. Yaska is very formidable, so don't underestimate him. Thank you. I'll remember. But uh, have you spoken to Yu Ying? I've already consulted her. She absolutely agrees. I must seek revenge. Mm. Good. Now you hide this very carefully. It'll help. Thank you, Master. I'll go tomorrow. He's got to come this way. Then we'll all move together. You ready? Hmm. Hmm. Right. Chinese opposition. Parade them in fetters. Make an example of them. Sir. And those who don't cooperate with us, you arrest every one of them. Also, there are still some fighters against us, but they don't amount to much. Now I'm going to announce it once more. You can use any methods, but they must all be put down. You're quite right. This is our Japanese samurai spirit. Of course we'll do it. You will. Now, as for Xiaolong, he'll be here soon. So we'd better have something to show him. Right. The sooner the better. We're waiting. <laughs> very good, very good. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Saloon's back. Hmm? Hey! <laughs> Tell them, you're back. Open the door. Yeah. Tax. Why don't you pay it, huh? When you do business, you pay tax. But we're Chinese. So why should we pay taxes to you Japanese? Oh, peasant. Got a lot to say then, haven't you? You want to die, huh? Yeah. <laughs> today. We'll have no more trouble from you lot. <laughs> Get going. Go on. <laughs> Ask all the men to meet here. And you take this letter. Give it to Yashika. Right.
On our way to collect taxes, we met Xiao Long. And he beat you up? Yeah. His Kung Fu is very good. You fools. It's you, useless. You pretend to be samurai, huh? And where is your martial spirit gone to? <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> Let him in. Salon gave me this. It's for you. Salon. Yashika. Yeah, As from today, we're having no more of your interference. So call off your men, otherwise we'll waste no more breath. <laughs> A big mouth. that messenger and you die. The masked man has spoken. The masked man? <laughs> Something very wrong here. I believe that hooded messenger comes from Ching Mo. So help me if I don't cut him up. You men, come on. Yeah, come on. Yeah. Uh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> My lord, don't be hasty. We can't act too quickly in this. We should make a careful plan. My lord, let me spy out their school for you. It's easy. I'll pretend to negotiate. You can leave this sort of work to me. I feel sure I can trick them. Can you manage that? Although I dare speak, of course. 
I can manage. It's already as good as done. All right. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> Who was it who saved you from Yashika? Don't know. He wore a mask. A mask? Yeah, and from his style, he was from this school. Who can he be? Okay, rest now. Both of you. Run along. Now hold it. Like this. Hmm? See? That's good, yeah. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> what do you want? Well, it's like this. Mr. Yashiga wants to discuss with you a treaty between us. He told me to ask you for your conditions. Conditions? Well, the point is, you Japanese owe us the repayment of an insult. Huh? As you're asking the conditions, you can repay us. Huh? What's that? You heard me. Huh? 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 Undress. Huh? My lord! My lord! It's how long it's been. Where? They're here, sir. Look! Got a cheek bringing a coffin in here. Just what are you trying to do? You said you wanted conditions. I've come here to talk face to face with you. But you still have a debt to repay. So pay up. <laughs> Untie him. Frank. <laughs> Forgive me, Lord. I'm sorry. I really. I'm really sorry. Really. Yashika, state your conditions, and we'll consider them. My conditions are really very simple. just like to have one fight with you.
If you're not a coward, get ready to die now. All right. Yashika may be dead now, but we must be full. There are plenty of his men who are still left alive, and they will want revenge. So we must be on our guard. Just who are you? Gentlemen, don't be alarmed. I'm a friend. I have come to warn you. That man Yashika, his gang is not yet defeated. They are making plans to kill you all. Who are you? Why are you helping us? You need not ask. I like you. I am Chinese. Every Chinese loves his own country. My cooperation 
should not make you suspicious. Please believe me. Thank you very much, but what do we call you? I'm sorry, I do not wish to tell you. What I have done is for my country, not for my own name. But still, there is yet one thing I must warn you. Perhaps they may hire a champion to oppose you. Good luck to you. Siala, this masked man's warning is very timely. We must stay together and practice hard. Yes, that's the best plan. Well, they look for a champion. We shall get ready to meet him. Was it cold here? No. Last night, I went to find out about Xiao Long. What did you hear? He'll be back soon. I overheard something while I was drinking wine in a restaurant. Xiao Long has murdered Yashika. Is that right? Did you see him? Oh, yes. That boy's training has not been wasted. And you know, he was my pupil. And it was him who killed Yashika? That's right. Xiao Long has got even for each and every one of us here. Boss! <laughs> <laughs> this is it. What? It's happened. The Japanese, they got a new champion. What? A champion? Yeah, boss. They're coming here now. Quick, you better do something. Go the door! This gentleman is Mr. Gruber. Father is Japanese, his mother is German. In Europe, he's a famous fighter, three times grand champion. I have invited him to assist us in our revenge for Yashika. Yeah. About me, that's enough. Now then, my karate can fix this Xiao Leung, that's for sure. His tricks here, nothing very special. Where is he now? In the next street, it's not very far.
Good. That's good. Now, this is our best blow. If we only practice and master this, we can face anyone's kung fu. The most important thing is concentration. Yeah. So let's try it. Okay. <laughs> right. Ready now. Right. We practice. One, two, three. Correct. May I ask why you ask? Yushika, a good friend. Like a blood brother. You do understand me. I'm sorry, old man. I don't get your meaning. Yashika opposed us. He deserved what he got. <laughs> You've got impudence. Okay, we won't discuss Yashika. Good as you pretend, why don't you fight Gruber? And just why should we fight? <laughs> I think perhaps hmm, he doesn't have the courage. Salyo, today I shall allow you to live, but not the next time. Take you there. Very well. We'll go right away. Hmm. It'll be wise to get the girl. <laughs> and then we can bait Sao Long with the girl. <laughs> Father, here are some clean clothes. Hmm. All right, we'll leave them. Now you go on home. my dead body. What did you say? <laughs> I don't think you're going to live long. All right. Oh! 
Lock her up. Sir. Right. The bastard killed the master. And they got you, Ying. I'm going. Don't go. It's too dangerous. Don't worry. I can take care of them. Come with me to the secret room. Sir. Sir. Gruber, sir, everything is ready. Hmm. That's good. We baited the hook, and when the time comes, so help me, I'll kill him. Whatever his tricks, he's a dead man. <laughs> that girl, go and get her. Sir. Sir. Paper. She's gonna write. Sir. Listen carefully. We ride to Sao Long. Tell him to surrender. And I'm telling you. If you don't write, then I will kill you right here. Go on and kill me. I'd rather die here. I won't write such trash to Sao Lung. Huh? What? This girl is stupid. Lock her up! So we can watch her die slowly. <laughs> so long, you're trapped. Kneel down, so long. Your life is precious, so beg for it. <laughs>
Let's go. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> 
successors. We all know that there is only one Bruce Lee and there will never be another. Although he is no longer this, his memory will live forever. <laughs> <laughs> 